Hello everybody, it's Giant here with another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now some of you might be asking to yourselves, Hey, wait a second. Why are you s last time you ended the episode, you were in the middle of XCOM HQ, about to start a mission. Why are you suddenly out in the field of battle? Well, apparently you can't save your game when you shot down a UFO, but you can save your game when you're in the middle of combat with the crew of the UFO that you shot down. So, uh, pretty much in order for me to save an exit and produce the video, I had to start the mission. whoop de frickin do Alright, so either way, we got army, I believe we did get the, uh, fifth squad in, so we got Buck Pilgrim. Sophie Wood is the new one, there we go, that's who I was looking for. Alright, and Andrea Basso, that's right, because we also lost, uh, we lost Emberlo last game, which is really disappointing, but, oh well. No point in mourning, let's move the crew around, make sure Emberlo's death wasn't in vain. I'm uh, gonna try and get Jacrylic on the uh, high ground there because, well, he's got the uh, damn good ground perk now, which is amazing for him. Uh, I'm gonna move uh, Buck Pilgrim over here and Overwatch her and or him. I'm not sure how I'm going to refer to him because I know I'm pretty sure in real life Buck Pilgrim, that is most Pilgrim, excuse me, that was most certainly a male name, but uh, I don't know. It's a female character. I'll probably be switching between between the two sexes. I hope you live near Trinidad, Buck. Because you're going to be going there a lot. Alright, and we'll go ahead and move Andrea Basso, our other new crew over here. And uh, we're going to wait and see if we can find this UFO soon. Anything out there? Nope, nothing but sound effects. Alrighty then. Ooh, that's some pretty damn good ground over there. Excuse me, I'm going to be abusing that. Alright, that is only half shield, but we're going to go there anyway. And overwatch. Sweet, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, again, we're going to keep Dracrylic back a little bit. Uh, what, Sophie Wood, where are you going to go? I'll move you over here. Uh, actually, maybe not. That was a rather poor decision. <laughs> uh, should I use her second movement? Yeah, I'm going to use her second movement, I think. Should I? Huh. Uh, yeah, I yeah. am. I'm pretty sure there's going to be aliens over there. Alright, against my better judgment. Excuse me, I'm a little bit drowsy right now. I had a... Had a pretty long day at school. Pretty long day at the office. Even though it's not actually an office. It's a desk! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The cover is dashing. Well, this cover ain't, so I'm gonna go for this one. Man, there's nothing over here, is there? Where is everybody? Oh, God, not only am I tired, I'm getting nasally now, too. No! I'm being plagued with problems. Alright, we're gonna dash her up. If there were aliens out there, we would have seen them by now. Alright, see if we can find anybody. Nope, not yet. The aliens are refusing to show their ugly hides. Uh, Alright, so if you would, you're going to go ahead and uh, clamor on over here. Oh, by the way, Sea King, someone reminded me that was part of Northern Lions XCOM series, which is actually the series that got me to buy this game, so that would make sense. Oh. Okay, that. did you guys hear that jingle right there? The do do you know the thing that I, you know just shut up so you guys could hear I do have a question out there because you guys seem to be a lot more informed than I do I've heard that tune in every single and so, not every single but in quite a few horror games that I've played through it plays in doom in the uh, or in doom 3 in the uh, initial areas of the game it plays in time Splitters future perfect in the horror mission and now it plays in this one which is like mysterious I want to know is there anything like actually somewhat significant about that tune <laughs> I don't know because it, like, it seems to be pretty common among the uh, horror and or you know unknown slash questionable scene I don't know I'm just getting curious now honestly I'm gonna dash army girl up here against my better judgment I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Good God, where are all the aliens? Well, there's the UFO, so that's good. Alright, and I guess it's time to just jet dash to acrylic. Gotta get him to that high ground. Once he's in the high ground, he's gonna be in an even better position than he's already in. Alright, alright. So yeah, there's our first aliens. Looks like they're all taking cover, being holed up inside the, uh, the UFO like the cowards they are. Alright, gonna move army girl up here. Are there gonna be aliens that we find? Nope. But I can see the entrance to the UFO. It's like a gaping maw. It's like I'm staring into the void itself. All right, move to acrylic. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the highest elevation possible, at least for the moment. So, and he's got a pretty good view of the battleground. This is a good. This is a good cover for acrylic. You're in a good spot, man. 
Alright, Buck Pilgrim, you're up here. You get to overwatch Sophie Wood. What am I gonna do with you, man? You're all the way over here. I'll run you over here, why not? It's gonna take a dash, but oh well. I should probably get the uh, recruits in the front so I can get a bit more experience, though. That might be a smart thing to do. <laughs> of course, me doing smart things. Yeah, right. Alright, again, gonna dash. I should not be dashing, especially when I know there's aliens close by, but... For the moment, I think we'll be fine. Oh. Uh-oh. Those are floaters behind us. Oh, there they are! Hey, what well, called it! Alright, let's see how these guys move around. Oh, come on. Shoot him down! He stopped moving for you to shoot him. And you still missed. Ah, dang it. Alright, well, either way, they got Sophie Wood flanked, which is, uh, less than optimal, for certain. Uh, let's see if, uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and go for Sophie Wood first. Unfortunately, she has no flank shots. Alright, uh, who do these guys have flank? I know I saw someone around here with a flank shot on them. Nope, that was a squad shot. Alright, never mind. Uh, try and kill 65%. You got this, Sophie. Wow, you are a terrible shot. <laughs> still up. Dang it. Alright, Buck Pelgrim. Alright, I'm gonna use Jacrylic here. Uh... You can't... 84% chance or 44? Uh, hold up. Hold fire, damn it. Uh, we got 69% chance on him. Alright, good. That's gonna kill him. Excellent. That's huge. Alright, one floater down. Uh... Alright, Jacrylic. Am I gonna take this shot? It's a 44% chance. Uh... Go for it, man. Oh yeah. I knew I could count on you, Jacrylic. Greatest sniper in the world, takes low chance of shots and still hits him anyway. <laughs> Good guy, Jacrylic. Alright, uh... Again, I... So, where's Sophie Wood? Oh, Sophie Wood already fired. Dirt, the dirt, the dilly dirt, the dirt. Alright, well, either way, I'm gonna move him, or her, and, uh, excuse me, Sophie Wood is a female. And, uh, Basso, Andrea Basso, where am I gonna throw you? I'm gonna throw you over here. Uh, until I can get that perk that lets people become uh, squaddies as well, then uh, I, I'm just gonna want to move my recruits to the front. And for now, I'm just gonna overwatch these two. No, no need to stabilize anybody. Nobody's even been damaged yet, because I'm just that good at this game. <laughs> oh, how I wish that was true. Alright, Sophie Wood, dash you over here. <laughs> I'm dashing a lot of people. This is not what I should be doing right now, but. Oh well, what can you do, man? Alright, Overwatch you, army girl, uh, can I move you up here? Yes, this is full cover. Go for it. Bring you a little bit closer. Uh, Dracrylic, you're actually in just a fine spot. I'm probably not going to be moving you for quite a while, honestly. Alright, and I'll throw support back here to back up the heavy, in case she somehow takes damage and dies horribly. Actually, wait, did I get him the, uh... The radio scanner thingy? The, uh, the, the radar thingy? There we go, that's what it's called. The radar thingy. Official name, by the way. Radar thingy. Oh, crap, I forgot to equip someone with the, uh, bloody, uh, charge thingy. Alright, well, hang on. I'm gonna throw a, uh, battle scanner. There we go, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, why well, not throw it over here? I do, you do have two of them, so there's really no reason to not throw one. Especially not right now. Oh, wow, that's a nice throw. Right on top of the UFO. That was a terrible throw. Okay! So that's why you shouldn't just throw them around randomly, because you might just end up missing. Alright, Andrea Basso, I guess you're gonna go in there and get a first look. Alright, there's our outsider. Unfortunately, I did not equip anybody with the arc thrower, so yeah, there's a... Uh, oh, there we go, it's not the zappy thingy, it's the uh, arc thrower. Got it. I, I have its name now. Alright, what do you have here? A 45% chance... Uh, and Andrew, Andrew, and, and, yeah, whatever, Basso, 51% chance, come on, man, go for it, yeah! Alright, that's our, that's his kill, let's see what else we got around, wait, three damage, I thought he had four health, how? You know what, whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Alright, Army Girl, you get down here, we're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep our eyes peeled, spread out a little bit, we're not gonna spread ourselves out too thinly here, but I do wanna try and make sure that, uh, we find and kill all the aliens, you know. The objective of this game is to find and kill all the aliens. Should I do it? Of course I should. It's my bloody objective. Man, Sophie is getting a lot of leg work done here. No shooting, but all running. Oh, I should. I really. I really need to start. Go blow my nose sometime really soon. Uh, all right. Let's take a. Let's take a peek inside the mothership. Well, we've already taken a peek, but let's get a bigger peek. Why not? 
Dracrylic, uh, I should probably actually, yeah, I'm gonna move Dracrylic into Pelgrim's spot. And I'm gonna move Pelgrim all the way over here. See what we've got? We got absolutely nothing. Wow, this is a really anticlimactic, uh, area. There's nothing around here. I mean, yeah, sure, we got flanked by a couple of floaters, but, I mean, come on, man, they're floaters. What are they gonna do to me? What are they gonna do on me? Bleed me to bleed on me? Uh, that was, that was, like, really, like, that was really stupid. I can't believe I said that. I can't, for once, I can believe I said that with a straight face. Alright, there's our alien activity. Oh, there we go, finally hearing some noises. So they are all the way on the other side of the bloody UFO, of course. Of course. Alright, uh, Dracrylic, how far can you throw a battle scanner? Hopefully this time I won't end up on top of the UFO. That's on top of the UFO. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's really not going to grant us any extra vision. All right, screw that. All right, Sophie Wood, why don't you head on over here and open up the store? Again, I don't think we're going to find anything, but hey, better safe than sorry. Even though it's not really being safe. Uh, where am I? Uh, I guess over here is the best cover I can find you. Oh, there we go. We finally found something. Who is he? He, he actually hasn't found to us. <laughs> Take the shot, man. Actually, wait, where's so? Oh, wait, I already used Sophie's turn. All right. Take the shot! Wow, you are... You are the... No, you are not the worst. Never mind, you did... <laughs> that sex sectoid corpse, that was interesting. Well, then, I... That was really weird. I have no idea what happened there with the camera, but all right, I'll take it. Not really that... Not like there's anything to lose, but still. I am getting her disturbingly close to the Illyrium generator, which is, uh... For those of you who don't know about this game, I'm pretty sure that stuff is highly explosive and could very well kill her. I've never seen an Illyrium generator explode, but I don't want to. The game does make a pretty big point of the fact that it explodes when it, you know, gets shot at. So I'd imagine that has a pretty nasty blast radius, if should it go off. Alright. Uh, where is he? The uh, super hyped action music is playing. Ah, there you are. We got him flanked. What's he trying to do here? Nope, oh my god, if he hits that, nope, oh my god, he hit Sophie, or, no, he hit, he hit army girl. Alright, well, I think bloody everybody's got a freaking flank shot on him. Uh, and by that, I of course mean army girl. <laughs> wow, what the hell are you guys doing? Either way, we got three chances here, I'm gonna try and get Sophie Wood into a position in which uh, she can get a shot off, because I want to get her that experience. Come on, Sophie, show me what you, oh my god. The worst around. Uh, Army girl, of course you've got a shot. Uh, fuck it, take it. 69% chance, take him out. There we go. Save Sophie and her inability to aim. All mission objectives. And there we go. Only five aliens. That was easy. That was also a very quick mission. My God. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do some base maintenance, and it'll be a rather short episode for today. Oh well, I am a bit late in recording and uploading this, so hopefully it won't be that bad. Besides, I think you guys have had plenty of XCOM come off that multiplayer last night. This way I can focus more on the pit episode I plan on doing. And the 500 subscriber thank you video, of course. And, uh, unfortunately, Armor Girl's wounded for four days. That's actually not too bad. Uh, we got Heat Ammo. Confers a plus 100 damage against robotic enemies. That is huge later on. And a rapid reaction confers a second reaction shot if in Overwatch and the first reaction shot is hit. That is so situational, it's almost blinding. So I'm going to go with heat ammo, of course. I can't help but feel like they just sort of threw this one in here because w why not? I don't know, that one's not... I mean, hitting in Overwatch is already hard enough because they, you know, lose a bit of aiming alongside that. <laughs> but then, of course, the second shot only happens if you hit with the first shot. It's just such a... Eh. It's such a situational upgrade. It's not worth it. Ah, uh, here we go. We can get smoke and mirrors. It allows one additional use of smoke grenade each mission. But what I'm going to go for is the field medic because Buck, Buck Pelgrim is in fact going to be our medic. So it allows the medicates to be used three times per battle instead of once. That is a huge and awesome ability. So of course I'm going to get that one for our class medic. And we got a second. We got a second one. Smoke grenade, of course, for him. He's just a squad. He doesn't get no, nothing too fancy, but he will eventually. Supposing he doesn't die horribly, which I hope he doesn't. We do get a damaged UFO flight computer, which I'm going to promptly sell in the gray market. Is it a white market? Is it a black market? I don't know. It's a gray market. Right, complete transaction. It's twenty dollars. Whoop-de-do. 
Alright, how are my satellites doing? Let's look over here. Uh, satellite uplink is finished in 11 days. Satellite is done in 8 days. We've only got 40 credits. Uh, wait, what research are we doing? We're doing weapon fragments, which is going to be done pretty much as soon as I hit this button. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, there we go. Alright, assign new research. What have we got here? We got the scope available for manufacture. That is awesome. I quite like the scope. It uh, gives you an extra 10% aim, I believe. So, yeah. When equipped, this advanced targeting module integrates with XCOM's active HUD system for, or to offer a significant increase to our soldier's aim. AKA, it gives you a uh, plus 10 aim ability, which, uh, I mean, thin men get that naturally, but we, we humans have to give ourselves some sort of augment to do it. Alright, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Experimental warfare. Uh, wow, there's a lot of stuff to do here. <laughs> Beam weapons. Oh, here we go. This is a huge one. Uh, but I'm going to go for alien materials first because that carapace armor and it only takes four days to research, so We've I'm going to go ahead and do that. We've everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. Yes, the yes, yes, I know. We have to capture a bloody ground. alien alive. There's no need to tell me. All right, hopefully we can finish this alien materials before the next mission. Uh, it does not look like it. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's up to it. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, we've got the alien materials. Assign new research. All right, there's that. Next up, I believe we're going to do the Thin Man Autopsy. Is, yeah, there we go. Now we can get. Now we've got the uh, carapace armor ready, but uh, I'm gonna do the uh, Thid Man autopsy first. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Very interesting. We'll get more detailed information in about four days. Uh, I hope we can get the satellite up and up and ready soon, because uh, Russia and UK, they ain't faring so well in the uh, alien apocalypse. My god, the aliens are really taking it easy on me, aren't they? Yeah, we need to give them a break, says the aliens. Alright, subject's external appearance is that of a Caucasian male. Pause the bloody video if you want to read this. I've already read this. Not to sound rude or anything, but I mean, hey, the pause button exists for a reason. I've played this game before, so I know about that. I have not, I have not beaten the game before, I should mention, but for now, I'm just going to be skipping past most of the text. Later, I'll actually be reading it, but for now, nah. Uh, I'm going to get the floater to autopsy out of the way as well. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing that in its efforts to determine mark. how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Alright, so there we go, our floaters, which are look absolutely horrible. I would not want to be a floater, that's for certain. Right, get our satellite. Oh, hello there. Request from the United States. Thin Man Corpses. Uh, they've requested two. We have four in storage. I'm going to dispatch the other. It's only $20, but the, actually, wait, hang on. I get $20 for that. How much would I get on the gray market for that? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, because that doesn't do anything. Oh, I'd only get 10 Alright, so they, they give me double the value. I'll take it. Why not? Oh, wait. Situation room. Uh, pending requests. I'm going to go ahead and accept this one because, I mean, I really don't have that much more use for Thin Men. I mean, they become useful once you get the uh, foundry for an upgrade med kit, but for now, I'll just go ahead and dispatch them. I guarantee you, we will be annihilating even more Thin Men between now and when I get my foundry up and running. Speaking of my foundry up and running, when the hell am I going to get... All oh, right, when I do experimental warfare, which will happen once the floater research is completed. Dr. Shin, seriously, man, you should really let me carry on with the game. still call that life? We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? All right, Dr. Shin, seriously, cycle? man, you're going on like a soliloquy a here. I don't think that's a proper term. I want no part he's, of it. he's going on like super dramatic, just like, I'm not going to go the same path as the aliens. I don't know. He's going, he, he's a bit, he's a bit of a dramatic. I can't say I like my engineer. Engineers need to think with their brains, not with their hearts. Dr. Shin, you'd better recorrect re your course of actions. Or else you shall be reprimanded. Alright, there's our new satellite. Unfortunately, without an... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, carry on. I don't have enough money to build more stuff. That, and I'm holding on to my money for scopes. Actually, that's... Uh, oh, hello there. Alright, uh, we got a medium one located over Germany. Uh, I'm gonna scramble with my interceptor. I'm not sure. You should be able to handle this, but 
If he can, then, well, this is going to be quite nasty. Ah, uh, one day short of getting the uh, satellite uplink up. Oh, well, well, in a minute. Alright, let's go ahead and see what these guys do. See how well he fares. I have my hand over the abort button. The UFO is missing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Bro, Raven 2, you've been holding out on me. <laughs> that was some pretty sick flying. German engineering is good, but apparently German piloting is even better. All right, leave the report, and there we go. We have the UFO crash site. Now, uh, of course, uh, we'll go ahead and send the Sky Ranger. As I learned last time, of course, I can't actually... Oh, wait, hang on, I forgot to make scopes. Give me one minute here. I need, I'm need. i going to make me some scopes. No, I'm not going to save and quit. Uh, scopes are cheap, and they build instantly, so, well, why not? They uh, they cost about $12. I can build, I'm going to build... Uh, hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to build two. I'm going to build one for now. Alright, let's go ahead and st uh, go back to the uh, UFO crash site. There we go. Alright, send the Sky Ranger and let's go ahead and equip. First things first, we're going to equip Dracrylic. Because we just want to make sure that he goes even further without missing. Going to replace that useless med kit for a scope. Alright, there we go. That's good. So now he's got plus 10% aim all the time. Ricky Wood can't hit anything. So, uh, you know. She's probably going to be the one who goes in for the kill. For uh, lack of a better term. Plus, she's the rookie. I really don't care if I lose the rookie, so uh, we're going to give her the arc thrower. Uh, it might be a good idea to give it to the support because she has extra run distance, but... Ah, well. I, I need her on the medic, and I, there's no way I'm going to be losing her. Alright, so we got our two supports with med packs. We got our sniper with a scope, heavy with a frag grenade, and her with an arc thrower. She doesn't need, She's not even worthy of a name. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to name uh, so He's got support roles now, so uh, I'm going to rename him Stray Dog. There we go. I told you I'd get you back in here, Stray Dog. And now, you're back in the game. Alright, we need to, uh, Stray Dog. There we go. Welcome back in the army, Stray Dog. I'm terribly sorry about that, but hey, everything worked out in the end, I suppose. Either way, that's gonna be the end of this one. No, it's not. We're gonna launch the mission first. first. And then, once we're in the battlefield, because XCOM is really weird like that, then I'm going to end the episode. Uh, yeah, this is a medium one, meaning it's not gonna take me ten minutes to kill. It's gonna take a lot more than that. Strike one. All right, going to go ahead and begin the assault. Our target site is near the Operation German Burning Mother. I'm sorry, what? It looks like the aliens <laughs> went down in the Who's naming population these area. missions? That's a terrible there name. Are in the area. Burning I Mother? Oh my god, Central, what's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time in which we take on Operation Burning Mother. <laughs> I'll see you guys then.